she's probably gonna be like really good at sex because she's obviously had so much sex. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to explain why if you want an honest answer from a woman about how many partners she's had in the past, you need to ask the question as non-judgmentally as possible. The footage that you just saw was video I shot for an experiment to see whether or not men would still want to date a woman after they found out that she slept with 300 men in her past. So when that woman said that she'd be really good at sex, she means after sleeping with 300 people. But it's this next part that I really want you to listen to. Because I think as men, we often suspect that when we ask women about their sexual history, we're not getting the whole truth. In the next part of this video, this woman's going to confirm that suspicion by letting us know that women do frequently lie about how many partners they've had. To be honest, I think girls like lie about their numbers a lot anyway. So, I mean, 300 is a ridiculous amount, but it's not like... I don't know. I think, maybe I just know a lot of sluts. As always, I'm grateful to this woman for her honesty because if it's true that women do lie about their sexual histories, well, that's information that we need to know. So, women do lie about their sexual history. I think men tend to lie as well, but it's for a different reason. Men typically tend to exaggerate how many partners they've had in the past, whereas women tend to downplay that number. Now, if you're familiar with me and this channel, then you should know my stance on lying. I'm against dishonesty, I think it's immoral, but this isn't going to be a video about morality. Instead, we're gonna talk from a purely practical perspective. So, let's say you wanna settle down, you wanna start a family, have a long-term relationship, and you're looking for a suitable woman. One of the things that you're looking for is somebody who is sexually conservative, someone who doesn't have a large number of partners in their past. So imagine you're sitting across the table from somebody on a date and you're wondering, is this person going to be suitable? I wonder how many sexual partners they've had in their past. What you should absolutely not do in that situation is communicate your preference. Don't just state explicitly and outright, I'm looking for somebody who hasn't slept with a lot of guys. Women and people in general tend to give you the answer that they think you want to hear. So if you explain your preference up front, well then all you've really done is increase the likelihood that she's going to lie to you. She's less likely to be honest about how many men she's slept with and she's more likely to give you the answer that you want to hear. As well as keeping your preferences to yourself, it's also important that you're non-judgmental. If you say, I think women who sleep with lots of men are degenerate sluts. By the way, how many men have you slept with? A question framed like that, I can basically guarantee, is not going to get an honest answer. If you want to find out the truth, then you have to be non-judgmental. She needs to feel like she's in a space free from shame, judgment, and criticism. A place where she can express herself and really be honest and open up. Women don't like to be judged, and neither do men. Imagine some 18-year-old boy who's sensitive about the fact that he's a virgin. If he's sitting around with a bunch of women and they're saying things like, oh, male virgins are just disgusting and pathetic. By the way, have you slept with a woman yet? He's not likely to give an honest answer. To contrast this, if you manage to create an atmosphere that's free from judgment or criticism or shame, you'll be amazed at what you can find out. The funniest example of this I ever saw was a video from Tyler from Real Social Dynamics. He was outside some nightclub and he was talking to a woman and he was pretending to be a really slutty gay man and he was bragging about how many cocks he'd taken in his life, like how many guys he'd slept with. And what this did was it facilitated the creation of an atmosphere and a space where she was then free to open up about how many men that she'd slept with as well. Now, had she been speaking to what she thought was a straight man, I can almost guarantee that she wouldn't have been that honest but here they were trading stories about how slutty they'd both been. Now that's just a funny example to illustrate a point. Obviously that's not going to work when it comes to real relationships. So what do you do if you're in a relationship with a woman and you really want to find out this information? Well, if it's a really big deal for you, then the most important advice that I can give you is to act early. Have the conversation early on in the relationship as soon as you can, because Otherwise, you're going to get too invested and it's going to become a lot more painful for you. Lots of men don't ask this question about sexual histories because they're scared to know the answer. And I really disagree with this strategy. I think they create a lot more suffering for themselves later on down the line. If finding out that your girlfriend has slept with a lot of guys is really going to affect you, you don't want to wait until you're a year into that relationship before having that conversation. At that point, you've invested a lot into this girl. And if you suddenly find out that in her earlier years, she was some party girl who slept with hundreds of guys, 
that is really going to sting. You should have asked that question sooner. That is essential data that you need to form into your calculations as to whether or not you're going to continue with this girl or whether or not you're going to cut your losses and start dating somebody else. One of the other benefits is that if you have this conversation early on in the relationship, you're more likely to get an honest answer because you're less likely to be judgmental when you bring it up. If you're only a few dates into a potential relationship, you don't have a lot invested in this girl. And so whatever answer she gives, it's not going to throw you as much. Unless you're one of those rare guys who wants to go their entire lives not knowing about their partner's sexual history. This is a conversation that you're going to have at some point. So ask yourself, would you rather have that conversation with essentially a stranger, somebody you have very little investment in, someone who you're just getting to know? Or would you rather have that conversation with your girlfriend of many years who you've heavily invested into? So that's my advice. Be as non-judgmental as possible. That's going to increase your likelihood of getting an honest answer and have the conversation early on in the relationship to reduce the pain and the suffering that any potentially bad answer is going to cause for you.